Hi everyone, I'm doing my update a little bit different. Um, today was such a monumental day. I felt that um, if I was journaling and <clears throat> I just felt that I needed to make a video. Um, and it's just about what forgiveness does for you. Today, I did something I never thought I would do. Never. <laughs> no, okay, that's not true. Not never. I just didn't think it would come soon at all. Um, I actually had lunch with my ex-husband as a friend and it was amazing. I just never thought that I could um, feel such a friendship with him um, because I really felt so hurt by him and I felt betrayed just in our friendship how he left and um, I think I was holding on to that and I forgave him um, for the romantic love lost, um, but I didn't, I was still holding on to um, the betrayal of our friendship, the betrayal of the companionship that I felt. Um, and today, I, I just realized I was so free. I was free. I, let's see, on, I cannot remember exactly what day, but it was, Somewhere like a couple um, a week ago today's the 31st of May and it was probably somewhere like Between the 19th and the 25th of May that I um, Received in the mail the letter saying that my divorce is final and it was final as of May 8th and you know I just realized I'm not gonna hold on to this I'm not gonna hold on to the betrayal. I'm not gonna hold on to he owes me an apology because that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted him to realize what he did, realize how he hurt me, and come to me. Not, I didn't want him back. Didn't want him back. Um, but I did want him to come to me and say, Jackie, I'm sorry that I hurt you and how I left, and you know, and just admit to show me he knew what he did to me. And I was just talking with God and I just realized why. Why did I need him to do that? It would make me feel better, but would it really stop the pain? I would still have to get to this point of releasing him. I would still have to get to the point of forgiving him and forgiving him of the betrayal. And so I said, you know what? He may never come to that point. He didn't know. Every time I've asked him, you know, why? Why did you fake like you were still in love with me? Why couldn't you just be honest? Um, and he, he still didn't know. He never had an answer for me. Um, and even today when, you know, I kind of brought it up, not asking him, but just saying that I released him from it, he says, you know, yeah, I don't know. And I think God will bring him through that process and be, allow him to kind of see himself and what, you know, what was going on there. But by the time he knows, I, it won't matter for me because I've released it. I've released him and he doesn't need to tell me any anymore. I just don't need it. Um, that's because I completely gave it over to God and completely forgave him. So I just want to share the freedom, man. The freedom that you are just released. Someone does not have to apologize to you. They do not have to give you a reason for their answers. You may want one and it may feel, make you feel better. And I know it would have made me feel better that I had some justification for why he lied to me for so long. Um, but I don't need it. Is it a necessity for forgiveness? No, it is a desire, it's a preference, it's great if it's there, but it's not a necessity. It is painful to forgive someone of a pain that they have done to you. It is painful 
and it makes it easier to release them when they apologize. It makes the pain a little bit less. But do you need it to forgive? No, you don't. I know a lot of people think that they need to have that sit down. They need to come together with that person and talk about why and all those things. And that is great. If I could, if I could have had that with John, I would have been so happy. Because I wanted to preserve the feeling that I could trust him. And I wanted to preserve the feeling um, that he did, uh, you know, wanted to do right by me and, and all those things. And maybe those are true. Maybe he did want to do right by me. He just didn't know how. Um, but I completely released him. Um, and oh my gosh. Like, I can go to New Zealand go and start the rest of my life oh my gosh I just thought of this even okay he told me that he had been dating a woman no jealousy none it's done it's over I've forgiven him there's nothing left there's no negative feelings I just <laughs> oh you don't even know like I know my value I know that God has an amazing plan for me. I know that God has an amazing plan for John. I know that John is going to do whatever he needs to do and God will allow him to go through whatever process that he needs to go through to heal. And I don't need to hold on to that. I don't need to hold on to him um, and the pain he caused me for all of that to happen. So I just wanna encourage everybody. You don't need an apology. You don't need um, the justification and the reason why to forgive and to heal. Because it's nothing to do with him. He still has his issues that he has. Me forgiving him hasn't done anything. Um, but it's freed me. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It has freed me. Wow, just take a hold of the freedom. Just forgive. The reconciliation may come later and it may not, but free yourself. Just forgive whoever has hurt you, whoever has caused you pain. You know, just forgive them. That's my word, that's my update. Thank you um, for all the prayers and the people who are supporting. Um, if you know uh, my ex, pray for him continually, pray for him, pray for me, um, even if you don't know him or me, <laughs> prayers are always needed, um, so have a good one, I don't want to ramble, but I'm just really excited <laughs> in my freedom, so have a good one, bye bye. Keep updated on how God is changing my life during the year long TV fast. You never know, you might get motivated to let God change your life too. Faith, hope, and love to you all.